Hi, in this video tutorial we'll go ahead and um, show you some basic steps of how to run um, a particular uh, ULP that is very useful in Eagle to create uh, a library based on a schematic. If you've lost the components or you've lost the library, um, you could actually extract uh, the necessary information to build a library from within the schematic. So in this example I'm going to use one of our uh, demo boards that comes with Eagle. So file, open schematic and um, from the Eagle uh, projects examples I'm going to use the the typical example schematic that we have with us called exapod.schematic. I'm going to open up that schematic here um, in my window here. And here's my schematic, very basic schematic um, made by one of our developers. Uh, I'm going to execute the ULP icon uh, because I want to extract all of these components into a particular library. That way I can modify them and maybe use them in this schematic or in a different schematic. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the ULP icon, which is this icon right here that has the three letters ULP. Um, if you notice the bubble help, it comes up as run, so I'm going to click on that. Um, when I click on that, you'll notice that I get a dialog box with a listing of all of the ULPs that come with Eagle. The ULP that we're interested in is called EXP uh, Project LBR. Here it is, it's called EXP Project LBR.ULP. This is the ULP that will actually extract the information from my schematic and build a library for me. In this case, I'm I'm finding this ULP in my uh, in my folder called Eagle 511 slash ULP. Okay, so I click on open. This now begins to execute this ULP. Now <clears throat> you have the option to create multiple libraries. In other words, it creates the original libraries that these components came from, or I could tell it to build only one library with all the components that are in this current schematic. My personal preference is to build one library. Okay. So I'm going to select one library. Now, if you're going to make modifications to this to a to a component in the schematic and use that same component in that same schematic, then it's best to use multiple libraries. That way Eagle will build the original library that component was made. You can make the modification, come back to the schematic and run library update. Now in this case, I'm going to be working on a brand new design. So my preference is to have this a brand new library with all these components and I will select whatever I need for my brand new design. So I'm going to click on one library and click on collect data. What's going to happen now is that Eagle is going to build, it's asking me if I want to also uh, have the physical footprints for all of this logical data collected from the schematic. I'm going to say yes. Now what it did is that it created a script file with all of the pertinent information necessary to build my library. I'm going to go ahead now, after I've collected the data, I'm going to tell it to go ahead and create the library. So I click create the library. Um, apparently I had a library with that name. I'm going to tell it to overwrite. And you'll notice here, Eagle now is building my library for me. That ULP, which actually extracted all the information from the schematic, created a script file, and now it built a script, it built a library with all those components. The file is going to be located in the same directory wherever my board or my schematic was located. So if you notice the path of this library is exactly the same path as my board I have up here. And if I click on the device icon, you'll see you'll get a list of all of the components it built. This is another tutorial made by Ed at CatsoftUSA.com. That is Ed at CatsoftUSA.com. Thank you very much for listening.